Hello guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, we'll be implementing one amazing project called Facial Emotion Detection with the help of YOLO 11. So this is going to be a computer vision project. So here we'll try to detect actually various kinds of emotion. So we'll be using one uh, amazing actually emotion, uh, facial emotion data set. And I will also show you the data set, like how this data set looks like. So in this video, first of all, I will give you the project introduction and the data overview. And in the next video, we'll try to implement this project with the help of YOLO 11. Even I will also show you how we can uh, train the model. And after training the model, how we can, let's say, download the model in our local machine. And in our local machine, how we can uh, do the real time, uh, let's say, detection operation with the help of our web camera. So this is going to be one amazing implementation guys. So make sure you complete uh, this uh, video. And apart from that, if you want, you can also uh, update this project. If you want to add some new features, you can also add it. Okay, it's up to you. So uh, what is facial emotion detection guys? I think you know, uh, it is nothing but let's say uh, there is a human and uh, this human is having actually different different facial expression. Like we see like uh, happy, angered, sad, confused, right? Then bored. So these kinds of actually, let's say image you can collect and you can train one object detection model but again uh, see this is not a actually efficient way uh, to do the facial emotion detection because here we are doing the object detection and i think you know object detection will only create the bounding box okay on top of the object pattern okay let's say if object pattern is changing that time your detection will also change right but it can't actually exactly learn whether this person is happy okay or this person is angered or not this kinds of facial expression this model can't learn okay so for this we have to use something called facial model okay face model so in future i will also uh, create some video there i will also show you how we can uh, use actually different different face model face embedding model to perform these kinds of actually operation let's say facial emotion detection okay then we'll be also doing the face detection these are the thing we'll be doing but in this video i want to show uh, these kinds of let's say detection can be also done with the help of yolo 11 because yolo 11 is like a very powerful model so this yolo 11 can also detect a small small pattern uh, from image also okay so that's why i want to show you uh, this project can be done with the help of uh, detection model also but whenever we'll be implementing this project in the production we'll try to use the facial model okay face embedding model so i'll show you okay no need to worry first of all let's try to see how uh, we can develop this project uh, with the help of this detection algorithm got it so first of all uh, let me show you the data like uh, from where you will get this kinds of data and uh, uh, how to like, let's say download the data and how to prepare the training notebook so guys i'm going to use this data called facial emotion data set computer vision project okay so this data set is available roboflow universe so let me show you so if you go to the roboflow universe so I think you know Roboflow is a platform. It is having different different, uh, let's say, uh, product. So Universe is one of the product, okay? And inside Universe, you will be getting all kinds of computer vision related data, whether it's a computer vision, classification, instance segmentation, key point detection, okay? Or semantic segmentation, all kinds of data are available. Even this data set is already annotated, okay? You don't need to annotate these other data, but if you want to annotate your own data, let's say you have the custom data, that time you can also annotate. For this, I already created uh, some tutorial in my YouTube channel, how to annotate the data with the RoboFlow platform. You can check it out, okay? Even I will also give the link in the description from there, you can check it out. So guys, uh, you can see uh, here you can search actually what kinds of data you need. Either, either you can also filter out, let's say I want object detection data, I'll simply click on object detection. Now, if you go below, you will see that facial emotion data set is available. Okay, but from that, there are so many data set, okay? related object detection so here i'm going to use this particular data okay you can see this is the data now if i show you the image it is having uh, almost uh, 1227 image and all the classes you can also see like so if you click on the classes you will see uh, different different uh, classes we are having like angry is there disgust is there fear is there happy is there uh, neutral is there null is there sad is there surprise is there okay so here is the image okay uh, so uh, they have already annotated this image in the roboflow platform and this data set is already ready for the training so only you just need to download and you have to uh, train the model okay so if you also want you can also like annotate your own data for this i will give the tutorial okay how to annotate your own data but data annotation is the costly task it's time taking task so try to use the existing data if you have it okay now if i want to let's say get the data so what i have to do guys i have to click on the download project now here you will see one option called download data set okay just try to click here and you will see that it will tell you just try to select the format okay which format you want to download the data 
So here we'll be using YOLO 11 model. So make sure you select the YOLO 11. Either you can download it as a zip file, okay? Either you can download as a uh, code, okay? So let me first of all download as a zip file and let me show you the data, how this data will look like. See, it is getting downloaded. Okay, you can see this data set is getting downloaded. So let's wait. Once the data is downloaded, I'll uh, come back and I will show you the data set. So guys, you can see my data is downloaded. Now let me unzip the data and let me show you uh, what will be the format of the data. So you can see unzip is completed. Now if I show you, so guys, you can see this is the data format. So you have uh, three folder called train, valid and test. So if I open the training and it is having the image and level. So here is the image guys. So you can see here all the image actually we are having, okay, with all kinds of let's say emotion, okay, and this is the level. I think you know this is the YOLO annotation, okay, and it will give you one TXT file inside that you have all the coordinate point with respect to their level. So I already created a tutorial related YOLO in my YouTube channel. You can check it out, okay. So yeah, so guys, now you can see this is the data, and here you have one data.yml file. So let me open this data.yml file. Inside that you have the data location and number of classes you have seven angry, disgust, fear, happy, neutral, sad, and surprise. And these are some RoboFlow metadata. Okay. So with the help of this data, we'll try to train one um, like a model. Okay, YOLO 11 model. And uh, what we'll do after training it, we'll uh, try to download our let's say train model. And uh, with that model, we'll be doing the real time prediction with our web camera. Okay. Now in the next video, we'll try to uh, prepare the entire training notebook. We'll train the model and we'll see the real time prediction with our web camera.